This is where I'll be for the next several hours, um, getting some work done, trying not to be irritated by the noise in the background of everybody manicuring their lawns, but <laughs> I'm going to put on some of my favorite music and get to writing and get to working um, because we are working on some exciting things that we will be rolling out pretty soon. It's Saturday morning and I'm heading out to see what the kids are doing. One of them is playing video games, which we're trying to put a stop to right now. <laughs> so I'm going to walk with him over to the other two who are out riding their bikes in the parking lot. <laughs> you guys hear the... Um, the ice cream truck. I just finished working out. Um, Brian made me some green juice. It's not green, it's orange. There he is, he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, I got on the treadmill and Brian came over to cheer me on and out of the blue, you ever cry and have no idea even where it came from? Well, that was me. <laughs> that was me this morning. I have been trying to challenge myself. Run? Yes, to run. Um, to consistently run on the treadmill and really focus on taking care of my body and myself. And I keep getting to like day six or day seven. And then I mess up and I have to start all over at day one again. And so this time, I don't know. I think I felt a little bit maybe ashamed that I hadn't kept going. But then the more that I thought about it, the more I thought what matters is that you just keep going, that you keep trying. So, so yeah, I'm no longer gonna be sad for starting over at day one again, because I'm never really starting over at square one. I take all the lessons that I learned from the times before me, and I go into it stronger, strong enough to finish this time. So I'm excited about finishing my challenge this time. This is what my son is doing right now. Oh, it's really dripping. Look at all the sap in this tree. It's more sap. Wow, uh, look at how much sap there is. What is the purpose of sap? I was just about to ask that. Does the tree produce the sap? Uh -huh. Sure. So yeah, I cried, but I'm pretty sure that it was about a lot more than just having to start my running challenge over again. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I did a video on starting my wellness journey several months ago, <laughs> and I had done so well. I was doing so well. Um, I was feeling better. Um, I was getting through the day better. My thinking was more clear. I lost a little bit over 30 pounds, which is an extra added bonus. But more than that, I just felt so good about myself. I moved through my day better. Um, then just life just kind of creeps in and can take away your progress so quickly if you aren't careful and I feel like that's what kind of happened. So the entirety of the 30 pounds that I have lost, I gained right back again. Um, and it's frustrating. Um, I won't say that it's overwhelming, but it's most certainly frustrating. And I know that it's just uh, simply getting back up and starting again. And so that's what I'm doing again. And so even though this is day one again <laughs> of that challenge for myself, I guess I just felt overwhelmed when I had to say it out loud. But I'm trying to remind myself that day one, when you're starting something again, is not a true day one because you're going into it with all of the lessons that you've learned from your failures before. So what I want is I just wish I knew better so that I could do better. Um, I wish I knew how important it was uh, to take care of my mind and my body and my spirit and um, do it so that I can pour out into others. In this case, into my husband and my kids and my friends and my family. And I'm determined to um, stay the course on this journey so that I can teach them better and they can teach their children better. And the whole uh, feeling or thought of wishing you knew better turns into more than that. And it turns into lessons that, that they can carry on to their children and their children's children. So yeah, 
I'm moving along on this wellness journey of mine no matter how frustrated no matter how many times I cry I'm gonna get right back up again and get to it I don't know if any of this made sense but I tried <laughs> Am I too heavy, Vanna? Mm -mm. Yes, I am. Mm -mm. Yeah, I am. What you doing, Vanna? <laughs> Can I do that? Yes, yeah, you too. Oh, man. goodness. Okay. I just wanted to pop in this Saturday morning to say hello and share a bit um, before we move on to the next school week. I'd love to know if you guys have any requests. Um, for things you'd like to see me talk about in these unschool adventure blogs. Um, we've got some fun and creative things coming up. And when they're nice and ready, we'll roll them out bit by bit. So I just want to say thank you guys for being along for this journey, along for this ride. Of faith and love and of living and learning together where life is so very full of lessons. So... I love you all. I'm praying for your families and i um, excited for the days ahead. Despite its challenges, um, there's joy. 